rye. Probably add another two or three of those this summer. Oh, it's nice. 100 tons each. And then there's the auger to get the grain out. That was the chicken coop that collapsed. There was a <laughs> foot and a half of snow, and oh, unfortunately, no. uh, yeah. Killed all the chickens? Um, well, I think the eagles and the weasels oh, got yeah. them, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a scene of devastation. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's life. Farm life, yeah. This is the field that we grew the wheat. So it's about 30, 40 tons of wheat growing there. We've had a lot of rain in January and a good portion of their property near the ocean was like underwater last time I was here. Oh yeah, and there still is down by the yeah. ocean front. There's whole fields that are covered in water and then all the birds are just using it for wading. Well, this was a barley field on the left here. That was the field that the Mumford District Lot 141 came from. Yeah. So all the barley came from that single field. You can see the coastal mountains on the mainland in the distance there. Beautiful, dramatic peaks. Snow, snow kept peaks. And then on the other side is the Beaufort Mountain Range. But it's kind of covered in cloud and trees from here. There's a stunning tree on the left here, the giant oh. sequoia, right next to Paddy's house. You could probably put 30 people around that. Don't know how old it is until you chop it down though. That's a pretty good sized oak tree too. Yeah. And just by the blue barn there, there's an apple tree, and that's where the bears like to hang out oh, in yeah. October, munching yeah, all the apples. Off rotting apples. <laughs> it's true. That's where the goats sleep in the tree there. Goats are awesome. Something about goats. Especially when they're standing on cows. <laughs> <laughs> On the right saw the old raspberry fields, so they'll all be coming out this year and we're going to plant either rye or barley there. I'd love to take more footage down by the water too, but I think he said you had to get back to the distillery. So. Yeah, better check on that fermenter. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the hardest turn coming up when I'm driving the big uh, truck with 5,000 litres of spirit in the back. <laughs> so I have to do this sharp right here without spilling too much new make. The last time we were here I was letting Kaylin drive, my daughter, and uh, she almost flipped the tree with the back end of my truck going around <laughs> that corner. <laughs> I was a little nervous. Yeah, that's a tricky one. She did a good job. Beautiful sunlight today. Yeah, it's gorgeous day. Don't get too many of those lately. The first sun we've seen in about three months. Yeah. There's Adam's stone pile. Oh yeah. Plenty to choose from there. Just let me take as many stones as I want. <laughs> There's the big truck that takes the new make spirit from the distillery to the warehouse for barreling. And then here's our sanctuary, bird sanctuary. Oh, yeah, look at them all. It's trumpeter swans, Canadian geese, ducks. And a 
They're quite noisy too. Like in the UK, it's all mute swans. They don't say anything. Oh really? Looks like someone's hit that barrel there. <laughs> Wasn't that, was, that was Paddy's driving, no doubt. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome.